Hello, Ivy here. Hello, Ivy. Girl, the Duchess of Sussex won. Meet me at the Royal Sussex party. Virginelli's gonna be there. All right, Ivy out. You know what? I have not come down from my high yet. As you know, I uh, got the news <laughs> early this morning, and so I could not sleep. I was going to go to bed late, and I was staying up because I was hoping to hear something. As everybody knows, this has been a very tense, tense, tense waiting game. So it took like everything I had this morning just to hold out and stay awake and wait for everything and and so uh, thank you Twitter again you guys that are not on Twitter Twitter is on fire and if you notice I'm sure the mod squad notices this because you guys are the ones that removed oh I can't even remember the the troll's name but I permanently blocked him but <laughs> This guy was mad. He was angry. He was incandescent with rage. I mean, he was just going after everybody he could. And I guess the mod squad used their magic powers and made him disappear. So I'm going to go through again and see if I can find anything of him that I missed. So brace yourself, guys. Remember, try not to make it personal because they are going to come for Royal Sussex and they're going to try to... <laughs> they're, they're, they're coming after us because they can't get to the Duchess of Sussex because she's living in what? Montecito, California, in that mansion that costs a billion pounds and has thousands of, of bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm putting the, the card of head of the horse. The Sussexes are not billionaires yet, but they will be. They will be. Just give them enough time. <laughs> I tell you, today I am as high as a Georgia pine. I am as high as Prince William's hairline. And you guys, I have to share this meme with you. <laughs> I didn't make this. And I'm not going to take credit for it. And I don't want to, like, say the names of anybody that, you know. But <laughs> I don't want to make trouble for other people. But someone has decided to take license with um, the Queen's image. And, of course, it's like a fantasy of what would it look like if the Queen was evicted from Barbados. I guess it kind of looks like this. <laughs> so this is like a, another one of those Sussex epic days. I tell you, this is the reason why we are on the right side of history because the, the Sussexes, they will, they just keep you going. They give you the sustenance you need to believe in humanity we always know, thanks to the Sussexes, we always know that there is something brighter on the other side. And this is the best evidence. Everybody loves an underdog and everybody loves a winner. And that's why we love the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Again, Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, the most influential royal. The most influential. So the other thing that you need to brace yourself for is that this weekend, <laughs> there is going to be a pest control problem because there are going to be royal rodents all over the place this weekend trying to articulate some type of message to figure out exactly what happened and why this is not a victory for the Duchess of Sussex. Already there's murmuring of something else that's going to 
happen and that they're going to appeal or whatever. I don't know what the particulars are about that. I don't know if they can appeal or if they will appeal. But don't you love that the Duchess, (laughs) who is at the very top tier of the aristocracy, don't you love the way she called the owner out by name, as well as the fact, as, as she said, and she's told the truth, they broke the law. The copyright of that letter belongs to the Duchess of Sussex. That's according to the laws in the UK. I'm not sure that they apply in the United States or any place else. But realizing who she was dealing with, her father, she knew that there was that possibility, allegedly, possibly, supposedly, whatever, that someone else would see it. So she made sure... She made sure that the language was just so. I'm sure she had the hopes that it was a personal letter, but being surrounded by people that you can't trust, you know, she had to assume that it may have found some prying eyes. And of course it did. And so what happened, happened. The derangers are like seething with hostility right now. They are literally frothing at the mouth and they're looking for any chance to pounce. So squatties, please be careful. Do not lose your social media accounts because you had to have the last word. Don't make it personal. We are winning. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, they are winning. So we don't have to work so hard. We just don't. We have truth on our side. We have integrity on our side. So don't take the bait. But that being said, (laughs) if for some reason you find yourself cornered in the comment section and you need to respond in kind, feel free to do so. We'll take care of it later, but feel free to do so. (laughs) The daily fail, I tell you. The corners of my mouth is touching my ears. I have to go through this one more time. These harmful practices don't happen once in a blue moon. They are a daily fail. (laughs) That divide us. They are a daily fail. That is epic. Epic. Thank you, Duchess of Sussex. I'm telling you. I don't ever want her to be in a position where the Duchess of Sussex has to remind them (laughs) that I'm not straight out of Compton, but I'm I'm not little nail from the country either. I'm so glad. (laughs) You know, show them that you that you are, you know. You are your mother's daughter and that you come from a long line, a long heritage of very strong black women and that you are not to be toyed with. This is what I have taken out of this because I'm sure a lot of people would have tried to discourage them from this lawsuit, discourage um, Team Sussex, but um, it's like Superman. You have to stand up for truth justice and literally in this case the American way you take them to court <laughs> they don't call us litigious for nothing they it's because we we do tend to um, so that's a little of that American heritage and a lot of that African American heritage this is what has kept our community um, whole throughout these years of bondage and discrimination is because sometimes you just have to stay and fight your corner. So thank you, Duchess of Sussex. I feel incredibly empowered and inspired today. (laughs) I'm also, uh, I can't stop smiling. Thank you for that. So this is a win-win and win again. So just remember, squatties, <laughs> the race is not given to the swift, 
nor to the strong, but to the one who endures to the end. <laughs> I wish I had a direct line to, <laughs> to Kensington Palace. So, <laughs> so that I could call and say, the calls are coming from in the house. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you checked the Cambridges? <laughs> ooh, ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Deep breaths, deep breaths, deep breaths. <laughs> so I'm going to go back and dig through the time machine on my playlist and find Naughty by Nature and listen to Hip Hop or Hey. <laughs> it's a whole bunch of stuff that I have to listen to. I'm going to take this energy and I'm going to clean the house. I got to do something with this. But thank you, Squatties. Thank you so much for being there and letting me share this moment with you. Um, don't forget, we're going to go live soon. Probably Sunday. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I got to do something with this energy. If you have any recommendations, Please put it in the comments. And thank you, Mod Squad, because you, uh, you all, that is, uh, y'all have, um, I, I saw like a bunch of stuff today, and there's more coming down the pike, but we're ready for them. Thank you, Mod Squad. That's it for now. Please like, subscribe, share, donate, etc. If you would like to make a donation and you don't know how, to help support this channel, you can go to the comments section where you can find links to the Patreon, the PayPal, and the Cash App. Thanks for watching Royal Sussex.